Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yazan and I am a professional photographer with more than 50 years of experience. In this video, I will show you what you need to know to take the first steps toward analog photography. I'll start with the camera. I will introduce you to its functions and how we should prepare it to take the first successful photos. Be patient. It will give you great pleasure. The word photography comes from the Greek word photos, meaning light, and graphos, meaning drawing. Modern photography traces its roots back to the camera obscura, a drawing aid artists and scientists used to record images as early as the 11th century. A camera obscura from Latin is a dark chamber or darkened room with a small hole or lens, and one side through which an image is projected onto a wall or table opposite the hole. The photographic camera only became a possibility in the 19th century with the invention of suitable light-sensitive materials, able to record the image directly. Light-sensitive emulsions were coated onto glass slipped into the camera in place of the focusing screen exposed for the required time. And then developed. In the 1890s, George Eastman's camera allowed many pictures to be taken on a single charge. Since then, many thousands of camera designs have been tried. I will tell you about my Canon AE-1, which I have worked for more than 15 years. This is the single-lens reflex camera that uses a mirror and prism system and allows the photographer to look through the lens and see exactly what will be captured. We look through the viewfinder. What is happening? The light goes through the lens. The aperture is wide open to focus. It reflects off the mirror, which is at an angle of 45 degrees continues up, and refracts into the pentaprism. And so we observe through the camera. We press the shutter. What happens next? It has a two-step mode. First, it closes the aperture. Then opens the shutter to expose the shot. Before loading, the film, let's learn what the individual tools and buttons are and how to set them up. We are looking at the instruction manual for the camera printed in 1980. Inside, we will see detailed drawings that show the first steps we need to know about the camera. They were probably drawn by the company's engineering team. I will show you everything you need to know about this camera. On the front side is the lens. Also, a small door for the battery, and three switches. The left button is stop down slide, after, the exposure preview and backlight control on the end is a socket for flash. Backside, there is a cover that should not be opened during shooting. The viewfinder. From there we will control the shooting process, composition, focus, battery, indicators, and exposure. At the top of the camera, is the entire control panel. Film advance lever. After each captured frame, we need to scroll for a new one, below, film speed dial. A window showing film speed scale. A window, showing the frame number. Two-step shutter button, half turn to meter and next shutting the picture. This button has another function it locks and unlocks the camera, or you can switch to a selfie. Accessory shoe. Film rewind knob with crank. Another function is to open the back cover by pulling up it. Battery check button. The camera below. The film release button. A screw for attaching a tripod. Contacts for power winder. The first lenses were used by artists as early as the 13th century, placing them on a camera obscura, the very first camera lens was invented by the maker of the first camera Charles Chevalier. Between the 1830s and the 1930s lenses, steadily, grew more complex, new and better ones appeared. What are the three different types of lenses? Three basic types of lenses, 
are normal, wide angle and telephoto, and their respective lens focal lengths. We shoot with 50 mm, a normal lens. This focal length is a great in between medium of depth of field, compression, and distortion. We shoot with a 35 mm wide lens with a shorter focal length. The wider your angle of view will matter, you'll be able to fit more things into your frame. We shoot with a 135 mm telephoto lens, the longer the focal length. The narrower, the angle of view. They are great for portraiture sports and many other photographies. The time is coming when we will take our first pictures with the analog camera and how we will draw with it. I repeat draw. And you will see this in the next episode. You will watch practical tips, loading the film, setting the aperture and what is depth of field and many other details. Let's preserve this art. So that generations do not forget where the magic of photography began. I'll see you soon.